Why Do Airplanes Fly? by Sergio Suarez Benitez is an informational text that explains the principles and science behind flight, specifically focusing on airplanes. The book delves into the history of aviation, the development of aircraft technology, and the physical laws that enable an airplane to fly. Designed to educate readers without requiring specialized knowledge, the book breaks down complex ideas into understandable concepts. At the heart of airplane flight is the concept of lift. The author describes how lift is generated by the movement of air over the airplane's wings, which are designed with a specific shape known as an airfoil. The airfoil's shape causes air to move faster over the top surface than the bottom, resulting in a difference in pressure that produces lift. This phenomenon is explained through Bernoulli's principle, which states that an increase in the speed of a fluid occurs simultaneously with a decrease in pressure or a decrease in the fluid's potential energy. The four forces of flight are also thoroughly discussed. Lift, which counteracts the weight of the airplane. Thrust, which propels the airplane forward. Drag, which opposes the airplane's motion. And weight, which is the force of gravity acting on the airplane. Each of these forces plays a critical role in enabling and sustaining flight, and the balance between them determines the stability and control of the aircraft. Another key aspect covered in the book is the role of engines in producing thrust. Various types of airplane engines, such as piston engines, turboprops, and turbofan engines are explained, alongside how they convert fuel into the mechanical energy needed to rotate propellers or to expel exhaust gases at high speed, which propels the airplane forward. The author explains that the design and materials of airplanes are critical to their ability to fly. The use of lightweight and strong materials allows for the construction of larger and more efficient aircraft. Aerodynamics, the study of how air interacts with solid objects, is essential in shaping every part of the airplane, from the wings to the fuselage, to minimize drag and maximize lift. Flight controls are also a significant focus, illustrating how pilots manage the airplane's direction and attitude. The primary controls, such as ailerons, elevators, and rudders, manipulate the aircraft's roll, pitch, and yaw, respectively. These controls work by altering the airflow around the airplane's control surfaces, changing the lift and drag forces acting on them. The book also offers insight into the principles of navigation and the instruments and systems used by pilots to determine their position and plan their route. It explains how modern technology, such as GPS and radar, has revolutionized navigation, providing pilots with real-time information about their environment. Additionally, the text examines the practical aspects of aviation, such as takeoff and landing procedures, the effects of weather on flight, and safety measures. These operational elements are essential for ensuring that flight is not only possible, but also consistent and secure. The author touches on the importance of airports and air traffic control in managing the complex system that allows thousands of planes to fly safely and efficiently every day. The book concludes by discussing the future of aviation, exploring advancements in technology that may lead to more sustainable, faster, and even autonomous aircraft. The potential for electric planes and advanced materials is also discussed, illustrating the ongoing evolution of the industry and the continual quest to understand and improve upon the way airplanes fly. Overall, why Do Airplanes Fly provides a comprehensive look at the fascinating world of aviation, covering the basic principles and complex systems that make flight possible. It offers readers an appreciation for the intricate choreography of forces, engineering, and human ingenuity that allows these incredible machines to take to the skies. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.